I think it's quite extraordinary that in the world we live in today, where we've been able to create the internet, where we've been able to send people to the moon, we can almost do anything we want, but yet we haven't solved the problem of water and sanitation and hygiene in the world. Uh, something like a billion people are still defecating in the open. Still only less than one in five people are washing their hands with soap after they've been to the toilet and 10% uh, of the world still don't have access to safe water. These are things we know how to do and we should be solving these problems. If we don't solve them, we condemn people to living in environments which are unhygienic, environments where there are pathogens everywhere. This doesn't just make them sick, it causes malnourishment, uh, it causes kids to miss days of school, it causes parents to miss days at work. Uh, massive economic cost to countries and one that we can no longer afford to keep paying. It's something we need to deal with. We know how to do it and we need to do it now. It's, it's really good news on the waterfront. Uh, we've actually met the Millennium Development Goal for safe water. So 10% um, of the world still don't have safe water. We've still got a long way to go but the Millennium Development, but, but, we are, but things are improving dramatically in terms of water supply. Unfortunately, sanitation has been completely neglected. People don't seem to want to talk about toilets. So part of our job at the moment is to get people to talk about toilets. Uh, if we don't do that, we're not going to meet the development goals. In fact, we're way off track with the Millennium Development Goals for sanitation. Um, we've got to make it a sexy subject. We've got to make it something that people want to invest in, something that people uh, feel is vitally important such that they design programs and they put their funding into making these programs happen. I think we know how to do it. What we're just missing is the real political will to make it happen. I think that um, companies like Unilever can help hugely in that because they know about marketing and a toilet after all is something that needs to be marketed. Uh, so I think that, you, that the ability of, company, of, of a big company like Unilever to use professional approaches that are attractive and engaging and fun uh, and interesting to consumers and that are really motivating to consumers provide us with a fantastic opportunity to accelerate the uptake of sanitation. Uh, I think we know now that just educating isn't enough, that actually health isn't a very strong driver for people to either wash their hands with soap or to acquire toilets. People want toilets because they're status symbols. It's a bit like getting a new kitchen for your house, for example. It's something you want to show off to your friends and feel proud of, as a, like an extra room that, that, is, that is nice and attractive, uh, enhances the value of your house. Uh, I think for similar reasons, people want to wash their hands with soap, not for health reasons, but because the soap feels nice, because your hands feel good afterwards, and because it's good manners. So one of the things that we're doing is trying to encourage mums to think, well, if I teach my child hand washing with soap, that will be recognized as good manners in society and therefore the child will go on doing it for the rest of their lives and maybe teach their children. So I think there's a lot of new lessons that take us beyond the traditional approach of just promoting things for health uh, into areas that are much more motivating. And I think uh, when we start to, to, to apply that globally, I think we will be much more successful in getting sanitation and hand washing to really improve. When people think about water sanitation and hygiene, they usually think about water. It's the, the general impression is that we've got to get safe water to everybody and safe water is the main route of transmission of pathogens. Actually, it's not the water. The water has usually got quite diluted rates of pathogens in it. And why is the water dirty? Because hands that have been to the toilet and haven't been washed afterwards are carrying pathogens on hands. A toilet is something you can count. Um, a, 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 a tap is something you can count and it's a technology. Whereas hand washing with soap is something that women do at home in the domestic setting. It's very, very hard to, ca to count how many times mothers do wash their hands with soap. So these aren't seen as hard outcomes, despite being more important probably than the technological outcomes. They're seen as something kind of female and, and about behavior and, and, and are hard to put numbers to. So therefore, people haven't really prioritized it. But we've got to grapple with this because it is probably the most important aspect of WASH and the one that's most neglected and most needs attention.
And one of the reasons why we haven't cracked the problem of toilets um, and female menstrual hygiene as well uh, is because we've been too shy to talk about what's really going on. You know, we spend billions on what goes in to our mouths, the, the, the food and agriculture industries uh, that feed us, but we spend no time, energy and very little money on dealing with what the product of that, which is what comes out at the other end. And of course, for half the world's population, toilets aren't just about defecation and urination, they're about dealing with, with menstrual hygiene. Something like four to five days in a month. It's difficult for a woman to keep herself clean and hygienic and she feels a bit embarrassed. Uh, and because we're embarrassed by this topic, we don't talk about it and we, we leave people in developing countries who don't have the technologies and don't have good toilets. Uh, struggling with how to deal with this. So for example, many girls won't go to school when they have their period because they're afraid of being teased uh, by, by, by the boys or, or, or by the others in their class. Uh, so this is a topic we're beginning to explore, understand, find a language to talk about it. And I think when we are all talking about it, then we're going to be much better equipped to actually deal with the problem. Unless we have a goal on sanitation and more specifically an indicator on ending open defecation, I don't think this problem is going to be addressed seriously. And as, we've, as, as we know, hygiene is probably even more important than water and sanitation. And if that is not in the Millennium Development Goals, again, the investment and the attention that this problem needs uh, are not going to materialise.